Welcome, everybody, to episode 53 of Smack Talk here at SmartGutMoment.com and YouTube.com slash SmartGutMoment. I'm your host, as always, Tony Mango. With me, as always, Mike Burhan, Chris Urban. Not saying that correctly, but it's just kind of a funny way to do it right here. And Chris Dace. Oh, damn it. Your name doesn't do that. <laughs> we should change Chris Dace's name to Chris uh, Dace Man. Or there you Dace. go, the Dace Man. <laughs> <laughs> Urban Burhan and the Dace Man and Man Go. Uh, <laughs> when, <laughs> or as I call him affectionately, Man Goe. Right. Uh, what we got? To, uh, what we got for you this week. Get... We have the typical ask him. We have the tournament talk of the best champion of all time, and the uh, Hell in a Cell review and results. We're gonna skip the hot tags again this week because nothing is fucking happening. We're not gonna give any extra credit to Stevie Richards complaining that he never got a shot because he never deserved a shot in the first place. And his conspiracy theories. You, you've got to have his conspiracy theories in there. Yeah. The hell with all that. So, um, first things first. Who got the ask him right last week? Okay. Uh, last week's ask him was. It was a, a bit of a tie, actually. Me. Especially because especially um, there was two answers. <laughs> yeah, between Pink Ops, um, but with a P one and K O P S, he stated it was Owen Hart, which is correct. The Habit Man again, Owen Hart. Uh, Jamsley, who also stated Owen Hart. Alman H one four four eight, who's on a bit of a roll at the moment because he's got on the majority of them right. Owen Hart. WWE Morrison's as well um, needs to be placed in there, which was Owen Hart, and he said his first idea was Macho Man with the Dace Man on that one. Uh, uh, Gorman 20, uh, 2002, uh, Owen Hart, and also a special mention to Ah uh, Curry, who's back on his winning ways with Owen Hart. For those now, who didn't uh, know, uh, the actual answer was Macho Man, but Dace answered before... <laughs> before uh, I am the Ask Him Champion! I am <laughs> Him champion. <laughs> he likes to say that while he's running around his room naked with a feather bow in his ass. Now, um, <laughs> basically, I'll let you guys know how, how that sort of played out. With the Ask Him, that could have been Owen or much, but because they, I, I was originally the idea was to have it as much as I but they answered it and kind of screwed everything up, so we went with Owen Hart. Uh, but, you know, congratulations to everyone that's uh, got that right. So let's start with this week's Ask Him. Now, this week's Ask Him is a, a very special Ask Him for an individual who's been rather uh, frequent on the internet and went around uh, saying certain things about a certain company. Now, uh, these are for our free hosts here. Let's see if you guys can answer it. He started as a member of a tag team with his brother, unquote, in WCW before moving uh, down to ECW and then the WWE before moving back to WCW again. He Scott then Steiner? Himself. Yes, you are correct, Tony. Ooh, see? Kick it ass. Now I am the wow. Eskim champion. <laughs> that was fair. Now, um, part two of this, which none of you guys should answer, Dave, is a person who basically has a uh, story history with Scott Steiner. They um, started off in um, WCW with Scott Steiner sitting there cutting the person's family. He then went to WWE and then TNA, which Steiner was also a member he now has a situation where his career is in limbo. But I can't say too much about this individual. He is a Hall of Famer. Um, and has had a very storied wrestling career. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff I could say about him, but I can't say too much. Otherwise, people will get it. So let us know. He had a storied history with Scott Steiner. You know, everyone knows that Scott Steiner likes to shoot his mouth off. A lot, especially when he's in the NWO. Just think who he is. Oh, and he's also at one point in WCW managed Scott Steiner. <laughs> so there you go. All right, guys, uh, let us know what you think the answer is for that. And um, 
We're having a little technical difficulties right now, if you can tell from the audio quality. We're going to try to get that sorted out before we go to the next part with the best WWE champion of all time tournament. And then um, we'll be moving on after that with the Hell in a Cell review.